go, buddy. We're going to start by chanting Om and Shanti. You can think of Om as a great eraser for your mind, creating space for learning, and Shanti, which is peace, something we can all use more of these days. If you want to just listen, that's fine. So the yoga practice is all in service of helping us slow down so that we can have some space in our thoughts and realize yoga. We're going to begin with Sharon Gannon's physical practice, the Magic Ten. The Magic Ten is a series of ten simple exercises designed by Sharon Gannon that can be done in about ten minutes. It's a good way to warm up for an asana class or get your body moving first thing in the morning, or at any time you need a little pep up. Thank you, Sharon Gannon. So first you get your sticky mat, put it in a place in the house where you have a little room to move around. You're gonna place your hands underneath your shoulders, spread the fingers wide. You're gonna tuck the toes under. You're gonna begin to straighten the legs, lifting the seat high, and you can start with knees bent if that feels more steady as you push the floor away. But gradually, begin to straighten the legs and release the heels to the floor. Choose your gaze place. Hold here five breaths. Inhale. Exhale one. Ujjayi audible breath. Inhale. Exhale two. Sounds like the ocean in the back of your throat. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five, inhale, exhale six, inhale, exhale seven, inhale, exhale eight, inhale, exhale nine, inhale, Exhale, 10. From here, you're gonna walk the feet towards the front of the mat. The next pose is Uttanasana variation. You place your hands flat on the floor in front of you. You could bend the knees and do this if that feels right. I like to bring some blocks so that I can really straighten the legs and feel the lift up through the back of the body. And then allow my head just to relax down. 10 breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Ujjayi breathing, inhale. Exhale, two. Breathing through the nose. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, six. Inhale, exhale, seven. Inhale, exhale, eight. Inhale, exhale, nine. Inhale, exhale, ten. Next pose you want to do is the squatting pose for ten breaths. You want your feet about mat distance apart. It's if it's difficult to keep the heels on the floor and they're lifting high, 
can place a blanket underneath your feet as a way to give yourself some assistance or even sit on a block. That's a nice squatting variation. So, and then we're gonna hold here 10 breaths. So again, elbows to inner knees, try to lift the chest as you relax the shoulders, bring your gaze up a little bit. Holding here 10 breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, slowing down. Exhale, two. Inhale, no rush to be anywhere. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, six. Inhale. Exhale, seven. Inhale. Exhale, eight. Inhale. Exhale, nine. Inhale. Exhale, ten. Our fourth pose is TP twist. So you're going to bend your knees with your feet together on the floor. You're going to try to lift the spine nice and tall. You're going to hug the knees together with the left hand on the outside of the right knee and bring the right hand to the floor behind you. Hold for five breaths. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale five. Then we switch sides. Left side again. Feet are together, knees together. Try to lift the spine tall. Right hand grabs outside the left knee. Left hand to the floor behind. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, gentle twist for one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, come center. Next pose we do is Ardian, Arda Matsyandrasana. <laughs> and uh, you can start by straightening both legs. Start on the right side first. You're gonna bend your right knee, bring your right foot to the outside of the left knee to the floor. You're gonna inhale the left arm up, and then you're gonna exhale, twist to the right side. You can just grab hold of the knee if that's okay. You wanna get a little bit deeper. Elbow to the outside of the knee, grab hold of the inner leg. Breathing here, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. Come center, straighten your right leg. You don't have to turn around like I am, I'm just trying to do it for sake of the video. So left knee bends, left foot on the outside of the right knee. Inhale the right arm up. Again, you can use the outer edge of the knee or just pull it in for the twist. And if you're using the knee, you're just going to get a little bit deeper of a self-assist here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Coming center, kind of twist a little bit to the other side. And then we're gonna set up for tabletop pose. Tabletop is our sixth pose, so you're gonna bring your hands on the floor. Bring your, I mean, feet on the floor, about hip distance apart. You can bring your hands on the floor, fingers facing forward. Unless you have some shoulder issues, you can turn hands in the opposite direction. On inhale, lift the hips up, keep your, keep your gaze forward, or drop the gaze behind. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, 
Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, six. Inhale. Exhale, seven. Inhale. Exhale, eight. Inhale. Exhale, nine. Inhale. Exhale, ten. Release the seat down. Seventh pose is handstand. Downward facing tree pose. Auto Mukha Rikshasana, five to 25 breaths. So if you can do your handstand in the center of the room, which I like to do, you could do that. Or you could go up against the wall. I'm gonna use the window for that purpose today. Come into your downward facing dog, fingers about six to eight inches away from the wall. You're gonna bend your right knee or left knee. Inhale, come up to your handstand. And then push the floor away, hold here, inhale. Exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, exhale, six, inhale, exhale, seven, inhale, Exhale, eight, inhale, exhale, nine, inhale, exhale, ten. Come down, rest in child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Again, slowing down, breathing the body. Our next posture, the eighth pose in the Magic Ten, is standing posture alignment. So feet are together, big toes to touch, heels slightly apart, interlace your hands behind you, begin to draw the arms down as you move the hips forward, lift the chest, drop the chin, pull the hands away. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, Inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Standing side bent. From here, you're gonna separate your feet about hip distance apart, interlace the hands. Inhale a breath here, exhale to your right side. Inhale, come center. Exhale, left one. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left two. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left three. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left four. Inhale. Exhale, right, inhale, exhale, left, five. Come center, standing spinal roll. It's our final pose. Again, release your hands behind you, inhale the breath. Exhale the air out. Inhale, open the armpits, lift the chest. Exhale a breath, inhale, a little bit further back. And then you're gonna exhale, come center. You're gonna to begin to slowly roll down. Bring the elbows close together, inhale a breath. Exhale, roll down. Inhale. Exhale, elbows a little bit further towards the rib cage. Inhale. Exhale, towards the navel. Inhale. Exhale, mid thigh. Inhale. Exhale, towards the knees. Inhale, exhale, bend your knees, bring the forehead down. Inhale, and exhale. From here, you're gonna inhale, come up. Exhale a breath. Inhale, and exhale. 
Inhale, come all the way up, open the armpits. Exhale a breath, and then go as far back as you can, it's comfortable. Inhale, come all the way up. Release the arms down. And that is the magic 10. 10 minutes, any time of day. It is something you can take wherever you go. And again, Sharon reminds us it could be a warm up to a longer, more advanced yoga practice. Or it could just be something to help change up the energy and help you slow down. And remember what's most important. We'll finish with one final ohm. Inhale. Om. Thank you so much for your attention. May God bless you. And tune in soon for some more Yoga Lifestyle with Jeremy. Namaste.